welcome to I see the light. I'm Prophetess Regina. I'm the light, and I'm back with another one. God bless. This is my third attempt. The first time I went to channel, I was like, no, I didn't like that presentation. This the second time I was talking and I didn't even push the, the start button. And now I hope this is legitimately going and I'll I'll get this one going the right way. Today is July the eleventh, twenty twenty four. And I want to say happy 7-Eleven. Happy 7-Eleven to all people. You know, 7-Eleven, I'm taking it because it's the seventh month and 11th day. It's a beautiful day. I want to say happy anniversary to Bay because I'm claiming 7-Eleven as the day that I met Bay. I don't know what date I met Bay on, but I know that I met Bay at a 7-Eleven. So happy 7-Eleven to Bay. And God bless Bay, and I love Bay. Anyway. I want to address something. Bay, I don't want to go back down memory lane, but I'm a little bit uh, frustrated, or not frustrated, I'm more so a little ticked off with what I seen. Let's address the cash app situation. Let's address the fact that my son had passed away. I met a few guys. I'm a woman. I've been always a woman. And from my understanding, I'm not a bad-looking woman, so I attract men. Maybe not the best men, because I've seen what my mother attracted. And what my mother attracted, I thought it was okay for me to attract, too. It's called the law of attraction. So what you put out in the world, you get back. Not necessarily it's what you accept, it's what you get back. So I accepted some things. I had some bad news relationships. Yes, I did. When I met Bay, I was like, well, very well-put-together guy. Not in his business, and not he wasn't concerned with me or nothing like that. But I did say hi this one time. Like I said, I seen Bay several times over the years in passing. Even if Bay did live out of town in another state, I seen him on say a couple of occasions. Anyway, like I said, maybe low self esteem at that time, or what have you. With all that y'all know about my situation, my upbringing, my the way my mother treated me, what my father, my so called father did to me and all the issues that I acquired from some situations. Now, being that I'm this age, now knowing the Bible, now knowing that God loves me, now knowing all that I know from the mystery and the secret that I've been breaking them codes and discovering, I know now that it's all been a part of a setup. You know, generational curses. Well, let me go back to when my son passed and everything, and then I had just got out of old nasty relationship with old sorry old man. He want to make me his mistress. I don't go for that. So I left that alone. Five months went by. Then here comes this other guy. This guy was strange as well. To make a long story short, he wrecked my car. I let him drive my car one day, not knowing him well enough to even do that not to not even let him come hang with me but I was trying to be happy I was trying to have a friend I was trying to be regular what I thought was regular anyway I let him drive my car he just supposed to go down the street around the corner to get the cigarettes me I could have did it myself but it was kind of like a test for him to see if he could be trusted and I can show him that you're, you know, you can be, you're cool. If you're cool, with, if you're cool, then I'm cool. He wasn't cool. He went and did something else. I know he did, but he said he just went to the store. He never told me where he went. He came back like, my store was like probably five minutes from my house. He came back like an hour later. And wrecked the side of my car. The back side of my car. And so he said he'd pay for it. And guess what? In increments he paid me. In increments he paid me until he paid me for the part of the car. Okay? When the part of the car, and I didn't sweat him. So it took about two months, maybe, for him to pay me. Or two or three months. He, he, he paid me. It was $500. The part for the car, the bumper on the back of the car. And that's just the bumper, not to mention is how much it was going to cost for the label. But he said he called some guy, body up that he knew that was going to do it pretty cheap. 
So I never had that information. Maybe I, if I would have had that information, I might have just bypassed him and went and got it done myself. But I started chipping away at the money because it took a while for him to pay me. And when, it, when the payment was finished, I told him, I said, well, I went in it and spent some of it. I got to put it back. I'm sorry. And he said, when you get it back, let me know and I'll pay you. So then I assumed he was mad, but trying not to act mad. And he just kind of like, stop talking to me. And I stopped talking to him because he had an attitude and and he was it was like he wanted me to chase behind him and I don't I don't do that I don't chase behind nobody I learned my lesson from chasing behind boys I'm a grown woman anyway I'm not a prostitute and I, that, those payments were given to me on cash app and um it was my money for the damage he caused to my car and if I didn't, just like any other settlement or anything, people take their money and use it whatever way they want to. And if I didn't get my car fixed, you see people driving around with dents in their cars all the time. I'm sure some of them people got paid for them cars to get fixed and they pocket that money and did something else with it. Well, I did what I did with it, but it was never behind any prostitution. So I want to get that straight. Okay. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of people trying to, I'm tired of that, that story. I'm tired of that story. Uh, I don't have that in me. If I, if, if people said I run game, well, I, I can't seem to see how I do. I just tell the, tell people what I want and I get it. Or I just, things come my way sometimes. Maybe it's because I've been, always chosen and didn't know it I don't know but it sure ticks me off and at 7-eleven I'm stopped talking about it so I'm here to praise God and I'm thankful to God that God trusts me and believe in me and know that I have not been a bad person like that and everything that has been done um, in the dark has come out on light and meat for me and God has forgiven me for everything. God told me I am forgiven. I am here today to speak the word of the Lord and tell everybody about the goodness of God and his forgiveness, loving, unconditional love. So at this time, let me go ahead and just get this Bible. I'm not the Bible, I'm sorry. Let me go ahead and get this book here. Let's read this. Open it up. Well, that's the beginning of the half page in the beginning. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Let me go ahead and say this prayer. At this time, I ask you to please protect the Lord. Remember, every knee and head shall bow down to the Lord in one way or another you will one day you're going to be asking for some forgiveness trust me let's go ahead god bless you heavenly father i want to go back to the moment before the trauma happened when we were at our most purest and innocent like a child before the darkness before the the, to the, the terror before the devil and evil energy stepped in before all of those toxic things took over and took away the purity of our hearts. So Lord, today I'm asking as a child of light, as a warrior of light, please Lord, find no fault in those that have been mistreated, mishandled and targeted by evil because of their pureness lord because you see the heart and you know there are some hearts that have been tampered with broken and and um traumatized but you see the pureness and you see the reason why and you know that it's all because of the setup of satan lord they they um they come 
They come like thieves in the night to take away the innocence of your people. I ask you to place your mighty hand on all the people, on all the children, and rip them away from the energies of evil that has been sent to them. Disengage and eliminate all of these evil entities in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we ask for justice. We call upon the correction. We call upon the measuring stick. We call upon justice in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We ask for the power that you have um, and the, your mighty hand to destroy all evil. Um, take them and rip them out of their places of hiding. Destroy them with fire. Elim eliminate them in the name of Jesus. Send your helpers. Send the hounds of heaven. Send the army of the mighty God you are. Set your people on holy foundations safe from harm and away from the devil's agents. And I praise your holy name, Heavenly Father. And we thank you for your son and the sacrifice. And we thank you for saving us and, and your um your loving mercy and grace, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much. We pray this prayer in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Amen. So I took the 7-Eleven and I said, okay, seventh chapter of the New Testament, which would be 1 Corinthians 4, is what I went to today. Because that would be 7 and um, I did four, and uh, I was just going to go down and read to 11, but I just wrote what I did, and I'm just going to go ahead and jump right on in. I thank y'all for watching, and I thank you for listening to my story. I feel so, I feel like I'm so tired of explaining myself. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not embarrassed for anything. I, like I said, I haven't seen any videos, and I know that I know it's out there, and I know it's some things that's been done to me. Like they wanted to, um, they wanted to burn me at a stake, like I was an evil witch or something. I'm not. But what I want to know is, no, not what I want to know. I just, I don't know how to say it over and over again. I'm tired of saying it now. I think I proved my point. Um, I'm having a hard time. No, I'm not just gonna go and do some prostitution. I'm, I'm not that type of person. I never been. I've always wanted a relationship with one person, just one person. And usually the guys that I end up with were just bad news dudes. That's just the way it was because I felt like um, in my life and the way my life went, that's all that I could ever attract. And I was hoping one day I would find one that might not have been the greatest guy when I met him, but would change, change his ways. And never did I find anyone like that. So I had to start changing me. You see what I'm saying? I had to just say, well, you know what? In order for me to have a little something better, I'm going to have to do better or change my ways of thinking change my standards, change my outlook on life, be a happier person, be a more positive person. Because a lot of times, you know, I was just accepting whatever. So no, I had to change my ways. I want to talk to you today about what I was led to by the date. Um, I took the date and it led me to 1 Corinthians and 4. And this is talking about the apostles are the servants of Christ. So let me go ahead and read. It says people should think of us as servants of Christ, the ones God has trusted with his secrets. Now, in the way those who are trusted with something valuable must show they are worthy of that trust. As for myself, I do not care if. I am judged by you or by any human court. I do not even judge myself. I know of no wrong I have done, but this does not make me right before the Lord. Now, may I stop here because I did not write this. This is the word of the Lord. And, um, I'm not going to say I haven't done any wrong. I, I confess my sins to the Lord and I ask God to forgive me. And he has. That, that My Heavenly Father has forgiven me. 
he showed me why I did the things I did. He explained, he sat me down like a, a father sits down with a child and explains to them, I understand why you feel this way. I understand why you acted this way. I understand why you chose to do it like this. God sat me down and explained to me why. Why I made the choices I made. That's how much he loved me. It says here, I know of no wrong I have done, but this does not make me right before the Lord. The Lord is the one who judges me. Yes, he does. So do not judge before the right time. Wait until the Lord comes. He will bring the light things that are now hidden in the darkness and will make known the secret purposes of people's hearts. The Lord will praise each one of them. Brothers and sisters, I have used youth Apollos and myself as an example so that you could learn through us the meaning of the saying, follow only what is written in the scripture. I'm here to preach the word of the Lord. Yeah, me, me. The one they said wasn't holy enough. The one they said wasn't godly enough. The one that the ones that said it were the ones that was trying to set me up. Then you will not be more proud of one person than another. You hear me? You will not be more proud of one person than another. I don't stop and say, Lord Jesus, I'm so very proud of, of Bay. And I have to say, I'm proud of Bay. Say you a little more than the others. Uh oh. I have to be honest. Oh, forgive. It says here. What do you have that was not given to you? It says, and if it was given to you, why do you brag as if you did not receive it as a gift? Now, what if I was like, yeah, girl, I I, I did a lick on him, girl. I took his money, girl. I wasn't even going to get my car. But anyway, girl, I just ran cash to his money. See, that's what kind of women this dude was used to. Like I said, I've always had a good heart. If he wouldn't have been acting so strange, I um I wasn't about to let somebody take me down a dark path and a, a, a gloomy road. Uh anything could have happened. I I could have gravitated back toward drinking real heavy. I could have I could have probably started taking all kind of drugs, which that's what he wanted me to do. He wanted me to start taking for taking all kind of drugs. And, and do threesomes and all kind of stuff. He was about to set me up. And, and I felt that, no, I felt like, and I wasn't even thinking that deep into it. It just didn't feel right. It just wasn't, it wasn't the right fit. It felt he was, he was too much. He was too damaged. He was too hurt. He was too messed up. I couldn't deal with it and keep my right mind, my right mind. He wasn't mature. He wasn't grown. We were, we wasn't compatible. You see what I'm saying? It says here in eight, you think you already have everything you need. You think that you are rich. You think that you have become kings without without us. I wish you really were kings so that we could be kings together with you. Look at God. Whoever this is, and I forgot to look it up who was this saying, saying this, but um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read it. They said they were kings. So whoever he's talking to, he's saying, y'all think y'all kings. That's why I, I wish I was king so we can have a conversation together as all of us are kings. We're kings, but you're not. <laughs> but you think you're king. It says, but it seems to me that God has put us apostles in the last place. Like those sentenced to, sentenced to death or to, to die. We are like a show for the whole world to see, angels and people. We are fools for Christ's sake, but you are very wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You receive honor, but we are shame. Even to this very hour, 
We do not have enough to eat or drink. Do you understand me when I say I don't have enough to eat or drink today? I told you what I ate today. You probably, maybe, maybe a tear would drop out of somebody's eye. But, you know, if, if, we, can, if we can survive off the of, off of fat off our bodies, I'll be all right. <laughs> My stomach might growl and I might not have what I want to eat today, but I still got God and God keeps me. And I'm thankful. So I'm going to go back to that verse. It says, then to this very hour, we do not have enough to eat or drink or to wear. And thank God that I went to a pantry yesterday um, or the day before yesterday and got me some vittles, a few vittles to help me out, to get me by, to get me through. And I, I was not too uppity uppity to get me a couple of uh, 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 outfits and shirts and stuff because I needed it. All my things were gone. Like, I lost it all, y'all. Look, it says, we are often beaten and we have no homes in which to live. Well, that was me just a few months ago. I only been in, this is the third month. What is this? Let's see, April, May, and June. This is the fourth month. Thank God. Y'all not know how that felt to be sitting in that car and I didn't know how I was going to get myself out of that situation. And days, days, and days went by. Uh, I would see people looking at me like, you're back in this park again? You're back? I'm lying up and down the street. When I go back and I look at how much money I spent on gas because I was just trying to stay warm or I was dodging, dodging corners trying to get away from cops or it was like I was a fugitive or something. It was like I was running. I was running for my life. Beat down, like they said, without a home. We work hard with our own hands for our own food. When I had a few ways to make money, and then they turned around and said, "She was, she was this and she was that." No, I wasn't. What I am is crafty with my hands. What I am is gifted with talents that I would like to be able to, to uh, make money at. But they fixed it where Prophet is Regina could never make a dollar off of, off her items or something like that. It was like every time I turned around, I got railroad. Who'd have known they've been watching me? And God can watch me my whole damn life trying to make sure I never got too far ahead of my of them or myself. It was like, let her, let her go ahead and do that. But that's as far as it goes. She, she's not going to be able to get no farther than that. I think back on that time when I took that test to go to the um, military. But I took it for the... Um, for, um, uh, what was that for? National Guard. Because I didn't think I was smart enough to do anything else. They had me thinking I was a retarded and every damn thing else. In high school, all through school, they had me thinking I was just slow and just this and that. I was acing tests and stuff, and they wouldn't even tell me the truth. I go and take a test, and they told me I scored above average. This is what they told me when I when they they um scored my test. They called me up and said, "Well, you you passed it." Okay, great. I'm just gonna go to the military. I'm just gonna go to be a national guard, right? Have no children. Perfect time, right out of high school. They said you scored above average on your on on mechanics. We have no one to place a woman at this time in in this this branch of military. We're gonna have to find somewhere to place you. What? I said okay. They said, come back for your for your physical and do 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 on this day. I went back. Mind you, I was already in the streets messing around, looking for friends and trying to have fun. But my homegirl at the time who I was staying with when I was out in the street took me to the place. Took me to the place for the physical. Nobody was there. No, the, the, the building was locked, chained up. It was all a setup. I don't know how that happened, but do you know how that made me feel? And I never went back. 
Then I met my babe dad, my, my son's father. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I cried. Oh, it was an empty prize. Like I said, every time I tried, it was like, no, don't let her get too far. Don't let her get too far uh, out there. Don't let her get Don't let her get a running start. Pull her back. Pull her back. No, she can't do that. Close, um, change the law. Change the law real fast. Shut that off. Shut that. Shut that part off. We don't offer that anymore. I'm sorry. You're you're three days late. You're you're you. That was two weeks ago. We we don't even offer that program anymore. That's how my life was going. Let me keep going. It says here. When the people curse us, we bless them. When they hurt us, we put up with it. I've done it all so far, so long, Lord Jesus. I'm kind of on a new page because it's a new day, and I feel like it's a new time and a new era. And now we we might be good with God, but we crack the knuckles now. Cause we're not about to keep on letting letting them play with us like that. It says, even today we are treated as though we were garbage of the world, the filth of the earth. I am not trying to make you feel ashamed. I am writing this to give you a warning as my own dear children. For th though you may have 10,000 teachers in Christ, you do not have many fathers. Where's the fathers at? They haven't grown up. That's where they're at. They haven't grown up. They're busy making other children, but they're still children themselves. Through the good news, I became your father, sending to you, Timothy, my son, in the Lord. Do you hear me? God is our father. Thank God for your love. The love that I have never felt before. I got it from you. I, I couldn't get it from anyone here on earth. Now, I'm thankful for my children. They saved my life. What people say, I don't know. No, my kids saved my life. They gave me a reason to live. I had nothing to uh, uh, going on in my life at that time. The things that I tried always seemed to be like, no, you can't do that. No, you can't have that. Let me continue on. It says, I love Timothy. He's going to send Timothy to these people. He says, I love Timothy, and he is faithful. He will help you remember my way of life in Christ Jesus. See, that's what we come to do. I come as a, a, a servant of the Lord, speak the word to the people in a way that we all can relate. Not to say, I'm up here, y'all. Look up here at me. And do all that. No. I want to talk to the people. Directly to the people. I want to tell you. Yeah. I was. I, just two months ago. I was living in my car. Um, sleeping in the park. Uh, I had on four layers of clothes. I needed a bath. I was this and that was that. I'll never forget that. I will never forget that. I will never forget the struggle. It says. Just as I teach. It's all. Wait a minute. In. In. It's in all the churches everywhere. I'm going to teach it everywhere I go. I'm going to tell my testimony. I'm going to preach it everywhere I go when I'm given the chance to. And it says, some of you have become proud, thinking that I will not come to you again. But I will come to you very soon if the Lord wishes. Then I will know what you proud ones do. Do what they say. Because the kingdom 
It says, do not do what they say, because I struggle with that out. It says, then I will know what the proud ones do. Do not do what they say, because the kingdom of God is present, not in talk, but in power. Which do, which do you want? That I come to you with punishment or with love and gentleness? I told y'all the other day, I said, I'm so thankful the way the Lord came to me, the way the Lord God, Heavenly Father, came to me through them clouds and told me, look, look at me, my child. Look, do you do you want to follow me? Follow if you want to follow me. You called on me. I'm here. Thank you, my heavenly father. I thank you so very much because they were trying to kill me. They were trying to make me a servant for the devil. They wanted me low down dirty. They wanted me licking the dirt off the ground. They wanted me to do things that I know. Like when I read yesterday in the courtyard, in, in the God's, do you see how they defiled God's temples? God's temple and he got he was angry they wanted me doing some very foul things that just was not of my nature God forgive me forgave me for everything and I'm so very thankful okay and that is the word of the Lord so look at God I don't want the punishment he's asking he says which way do you want it do you want the punishment or do you want the love and the gentleness that I can give you I take the love and the gentleness Lord and the direction I will continue to read the scriptures and spread the word out amongst the people and I'm so very thankful you came when you came and they're so upset the devil's so upset because they thought they had a real one they've been trying their best to, to reel me in it's like oh we're gonna reel her in it's gonna be easy no it wasn't I remember that one time when we was at the at the gas station, we was pumping gas, and the girl came up and was dancing in the other car like this. And I was looking in the rearview mirror at him, and he was standing there looking at her, but he didn't move, and she was dancing. And um, I guess I was supposed to say, "Hey, you wanna you wanna follow us to the house, you know, or whatever." It was a setup. It was a setup because she danced. Then he got in the car. He said, <laughs> "Did you see the way she was she was doing to me?" And I said, "Yeah, I saw it." You know, like, what? I'm so glad. No, I don't want that in my life. I, I, I prefer to be alone. So, I got something else I want to say. So, today, um, somebody knocks at my door. I open the door, and it's a it's a pastor. Now, this pastor uh, is, is a lily white, white, okay? He got a country accent, okay? I stand there and I listen to him, and y'all, I shook his hand. Not because he asked me to. I did. I reached out and shook his hand, and I probably shouldn't have. And I thought about it. I was like, don't, don't take it so literally. You're way more powerful than a damn handshake. You're okay. We don't want to shake hands with devils, no. We're going to say he's a devil. We can say he's a devil, but we don't have to say he's a devil. We're just going to say he don't affect me, okay? So I'm looking at it like I went to the pantry the other day. I didn't tell you this. I, or did I tell y'all? I told y'all I got some clothes and also they offered me a Bible. They had a, a, a some books available. And I was like, oh, I was like, sure, I'll take a book. Let me see what you got. They were all Bibles, different kind. And I noticed it was a Bible that I used to have, but it was a smaller version of the one I used to have that Miss Margaret gave it to me. Miss Margaret gave it to me. It probably had a spell on it. But anyway, um, I took the Bible and then something told me when I got ready to get out the car before I even got home, it's like, man, I shouldn't have took that Bible. You don't know what people put on a Bible. It's a Bible. But I mean, no. I left it in the car. So today, I took it to the park and I laid it on a bench. So maybe a homeless person might need it. Somebody might need it. Uh, the homeless people be over there in the park all the time. They might see it and decide they want to keep it. But uh, something told me, don't bring it in my house. So when he knocked on the door, he was from Tennessee. He's over here asking people to come to his church in Bethany, which y'all, I told y'all about Bethany. It's like the most prejudiced side of town Oklahoma City has, which every side of town Oklahoma City is prejudiced, but that's out there where they said, hey, man, God told me you all might want to get from out here before it gets dark, and this is 2024. Well, that's where his church is at, and he was asking me would I, you know, come, trying to get some people to come. I'm like, man, you come way over here, and you think that these people over here in these apartments are going to come to your church way over there? No, my brother. So I was wondering, 
okay, he was from, he, he said, oh, is that your car? I was like, okay, um, yeah, um, that's, that's the car I'm driving, uh, okay, um, so he asked me some more questions, and he said, yeah, and I live, I'm, uh, where you from, I told him, he said, yeah, I used to live in Longview, Texas, I said, oh, really, he said, well, my so-called father, um, down that way, he said, wow, anyway, shook his hand, he went on, why was he so weird? I took his information. He asked me to come, please come to his Sunday school class, whatever. I'm not going to drive way over there to come to your Sunday school class. I am the Sunday school class. He had a part in his hair like back in the day, like in the in the 50s, and he had a haircut, and he was real country. And um, I was like, man, you, you ain't no, nobody interested in what you're talking about. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. But he asked me, he said, I told him I had a, uh, you know, some things going on with me. And he said, do you, if you die, you know, die today. One of those questions. If you die today, do you think you would go to heaven? Well, of course. Of course I would go to heaven. The question is, do you think that you would go? Because <laughs> I know where I'm going. Most definitely. He said, well, how long have you known the Lord? I said, I've been, been dealing with the Lord real heavy for about, going on about three years now. Real heavy. My son passed. God called me in to do a little preaching, teaching. He didn't ask me anything about that. He said, please come out and join us. We're trying to get some people to the church. Well, thank you. But I'm wondering now, please don't tell me because I took those things from that church pantry. Y'all think that I owe y'all something now? Y'all think that I'm supposed to come to your Southern Baptist church? I'm not coming. It's stored at the church house. It's stored at the what? At the storehouse for all the people to come to. I didn't, I'm not going to go to the one that gave it to me. Nope. Mm -mm. I'm not going to go to that one. And I'm not going to go to that one. And I'm not going to go to that one. That's three no's. I'm not coming to your church. No. I'm not going to be the only black person in your church. So ain't. Um, I also have 7-Eleven here as a color. The color 7-Eleven in Hebrew, it means um, Argavan, Argavan, Argavan. It's the colors of wealth, which is red and purple. And remember I said, oh, yes, colors are red and purple. Yeah, or it's colors are red and purple. And it says here. It also means the best counselor. That's what um, 7-Eleven means, the best counselor. And then it also means in spirituality, um, you have strength and reliance. And um, let's see, to overcome any challenges you have, you may have faced. To trust in yourself and the ability for you and your and and you are capable of achieving great things. Let's go ahead and praise God and just say thank you at this moment. Boy, I sure have God do a lot, Lord Jesus. Thank you for getting me through a lot. If you've been getting through a lot, have been through a lot, and you done got through a lot, praise God. Hey, if your load ain't that heavy today, praise God for that. Just say, you be like, I never experienced nothing. Like, well, you you can praise God because you haven't experienced it. Okay, but that's what made the apostles. That's what made that's what makes a prophet. It's not about me being growing up in church. That's beautiful if you called in to preach at a young age and stuff. That's awesome. But like I said, I wasn't grandfather then. I was brought in by the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I was called in like, hey, you, you said you want it. Here it is. Now what you going to do with it? I'm going to worship in the name of Jesus. And I won't stop until I get what God said he's going to give me. And you're working for all the wrong reasons. You don't tell me what I'm working for, Satan, because I didn't ask for your opinion. What you working for? Who's these people that say I'm working for the wrong reasons? What's your reasons? Huh? What's your reasons? A little brandy in the, in the, in the midnight hour? A little a little fling in the in the back room of the sanctuary? Shut up. Don't tell me what's good. 
can go ahead and get this energy. Oh, man. the energy pertaining today and um i'm gonna start taking out all of the thorough cards out of here when i pull they will be taken out and i'll put back in because i'm not playing when i said i'm not watching y'all no more whoo, bye if i'm wrong the lord will tell me i'm wrong but i don't think i'm wrong i just don't have time for y'all no like that you know because y'all y'all ain't on the y'all ain't on no mission for god y'all on mission to make money and survive. And I understand that. So to each his own. Let's see what we got right here. It says. Neither prayers. Nor demonstrations. Halted. The advance of the. Pestilence. Deadly. Overwhelming disease that affected an entire community a fatal epidemic disease especially bionic uh, bubonic plague oh lord don't tell me a plague is coming next I don't want to hear it lord Jesus please say it's not so lord It says, faith in God. I have the power. With God, I am powerful and mighty. Amen and amen. What else, Lord? We're starting off on a bad foot. We don't want a bad foot. We want a good foot, Lord. Please, good energy, Lord Jesus. Please, good energy. Luke 6 and 36, it says, but love your enemies and do and do good and and then expecting nothing back in return and your rewards will be great and you will be sons and of the most high for he is kind to the ungrateful and and the evil father give them forgive them for they know not what they do let's see what this one says it's on the floor let me see if i can open it up with my feet I don't want to bend down there with this bag in my hand. It says arguments. Is somebody having some arguments? But who? I mean, like I said, it's like nobody's watching me anyway. But I'm not arguing with myself. I might be arguing with Satan, telling Satan he is a damn liar. Uh huh. Shrimp. Shrimp. But we're going to say goodbye to it. I'm telling you, they're out of here. We get a download like that. We get a download like that. We we gonna remove them cards. We don't want no 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 wicked stuff like that in here. Other than the fact that we pull energy when it lets us warns us about a wicked person or something. But them tarot cards are gone. It says we will overcome. God told me so. God is the truth, and God's words are true. Amen and amen. Um, the poly and the poly relationship. I'm so sick of it. Um, multiple sex partners. That's where the epidemic is going to come. It's going to hit y'all like a hot burning fire right in between y'all's nasty legs. What else, spirit? We got the queen of swords here. The queen of swords. The truth. Telling the truth. Honesty. Strong. And principles, and but we're taking it out. Say goodbye to it. That's two that's gone. I'm not playing. I don't want to do anything that's that um that my heavenly father does not approve of. We got three enemies of believers: the world, the flesh, and Satan. That's the three enemies of the believers. The world the flesh, and Satan. Sounds like a polyamorous marriage to me. So we got somebody that says, 
hey, I just love everybody that loves me. Whoever I'm in the company of at the time, it can be it can be a man that that dresses like a woman that has all the man parts to it. I'm gonna love that person at the time. I just wanna love you. You're a weirdo, a freakazoid weirdo, and you is a de- demonic for real. Look, devils like to push your button so that you'll give up. See that? And um, that's what they did to me the majority of my life. Every time I tried to drive something, you tried to do something, to, just like everybody in a normal, um, normal life would do. Let me try this. Okay, let me go to school for this. Let me take up this. Let me go try to get in school. Let me try this. Let me go fill out this application. Let me apply this place. No, no. No, 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 you can't do that. No, you can't have that. No, you can't do it. Okay, come in for the interview. No, I'm sorry. You can't have the job. Okay, you got the job. You go for the job. No, I'm sorry. You can't. We can't. I'm sorry. We hired you, but we can't. We can't let you start working. Some people think that they are above God's law and they are fooling themselves. Amen. We got 999, the ending of a cycle, and a new one is beginning. And we're in the middle of the year already, y'all. Can you believe it? No, we ain't even in the middle. We passed the middle. We're on the seventh month now. Um, Somebody's got some jail time coming up, and they're getting caught up, and they're going to, uh, somebody's going to end up on probation or looking for going to jail card. We got to make some new cards. I want to make another going. I want to make them going to jail Get out of free going to jail card. Remember on Monopoly, you'd be so happy when you got that card. You'd be like, I'm going to put this to the side. Okay. Whoo, I'm so happy I got this Monopoly um, game. Uh, uh, this going out, getting out of free out of jail card. Look, I told y'all when um I had went with my do- deadbeat, no down ginger boyfriend I was dealing with, went over to my home girl house, and um, we was going to go play Monopoly with her. So it was just three of us playing Monopoly. Well, I told y'all she was dressed up. Well, she had on a bummer jacket. She had on some lip gloss makeup, eyelashes, all that. I was like, what the hell wrong with her? She was dressed like we was going to go to the club. She was over there with a bummer jacket on, with a purple bummer jacket on. We playing. We finna play some Monopoly. Boy, people, come out. We got First Timothy here. Look at there. First Timothy 4. Who have all men to be saved and to come into knowledge? Of the truth. First Timothy. You said listen to Timothy. Listen to the prophets. Listen to the apostles. They went through so much to get there. To be able to tell you. They've been so dedicated. It's just so hard for the people. We got. Let's look at this one anyway. So I'm glad because I can't read them anyway. We got victory here. Okay. And it's going down there too. I'm telling you. We can put victory on some other piece of paper. We're just not going to have them cards mixing up in here no more. It's a lot of them right here I can take out right now. It says, for God said, what is good comes from me. See my love, nursing, and comforting. Trust in me with all your heart. Keep your eye on me. Amen. And amen. So here goes one. I'm taking it out. Kings. Um, Knight of Pentacles is coming out. I'm seeing one over here. We got, um, what's this one? The High Priestess is coming out. We can put, we can write the High Priestess on another one. We don't need it. I'm not too much worried about these. We'll keep these. These, these, those don't mean that, nothing like that. Uh-huh. We're going to get rid of this one. This one is just the tower. We, we're just going to write, your tower is falling, your, your kingdom is falling down. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay? Here go another one. Something about um, adversity. Yeah, defending oneself against things. We get rid of it. We, 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 we fight adversities. We know that already. Here go another one. We want these out too. We'll go high priestess again. Goodbye. Oh, my son bought me those cards before he passed away, though. It's going to hurt to get rid of them. Yeah, we're going to get rid of that one. Walking away from something. We we want to pull energy, though. We just, I'm not going to pull those out in front of y'all. Here we go, another one. Let me throw it on the floor. Let's see. We got here. 
discernment. You are developing the skills of distinguishing, distinguish love from fear and the truth from illusion. We don't want to be stuck in an illusion, Lord Jesus. We we want to we want to really see what's going on. So the devil can trick us and stop us up. You the truth. Amen. I speak the truth. I'm telling the truth. Why? I'm not sitting here um, saying what I've done. I enjoyed it. I miss it. I'm hungry right now. Like, I wish I had me um, some, sm- some other chicken and rice or something. I'm hungry. Like, all I had was peanut butter and toast sandwich. Peanut butter and jelly and toast sandwich. <laughs> That's what I had. I had a meal. Peanut butter and jelly toast sandwich. And I'm fixing to uh, be hungry for the rest of the night. Because that's the way it's set up right now. But I'm still okay and I'm happy and I'm going to survive. I'm not going to die hungry. Some people are hungry. They don't have nothing to eat. Using silence for control. Now, y'all might say that to me about what I said to the people in the community, the prayer community. But goodbye, y'all. Holy Spirit, take over. Take over, Holy Spirit. Today, when I was preaching, preaching when i was praying earlier today i didn't have much words to say i said so holy spirit step in and just tell the lord what my heart feels tell the lord speak for me holy spirit because right now i'm i'm just i'm low on my words what else spirit but i'm very hurt by that i'm not a i'm not a prostitute this is the truth very hurt and i had to go through all that to prove that i'm not a prostitute be homeless, take everything from me, make me lose my things, mistreat me, make your journey easy. Keep your eye on the right path. Amen. And I was telling you, man, I'm like, man, I'm not fixing to go down this path just so that I won't be saved. Uh, what if they think I was lonely, so lonely that I would choose that road? No. No, I love myself and I want a better life. I've never had a good, good life. I want a good life. I want a, I want a life that's, 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 that's pleasing to God. We got the two of cups here and say goodbye to it. And I don't like the two of cups here because this is like um, a lesbian deck or something. Or like a a homosexual deck or something. Like what are these two girls? Two two of cups is usually like a union. But these two are two women. No, it's got to go. It says all. It says most high almighty god is going to take care of everything heavenly father is the creator and the universe of all things he's the creator of all things and i got here wanna but i'm scared somebody wanna what give their life over to god they afraid what you afraid you're gonna fail with that you don't fail with god you just gotta just tell god to keep giving you strength keep on keep on pushing that's the part staying focused staying dedicated God's going to bless you big time. If you stay focused, stay with God, ignorance ignorance leads to suffering. Ignorance leads to suffering. It says, suffering, the state of overgoing pain, distress, and hardship. It's hard. It's hard out here. I'm not lying. I got divine timing. Okay. I got here on the top, it says, someone feels guilty when they look at themselves in the mirror. Today, I talk to myself in the mirror. I say, you're beautiful. You you, you look good. You're doing this. You're doing that. I'm going to tell you exactly what I said to myself. But I kept talking to myself in that mirror. I showed it. The truth is in you. Almighty Father, creator over all things, we ask for the truth today. Let the walls that keep us from your truth be removed lord we understand it is your power your way of love your authority and all the breath and walk all that we breathe and we walk we you are uh, give us chance after chance like i said i gave them terrorists some chances they not i don't broke up with y'all a couple times and came back i was like that, matter of fact, um, I think I did it about two or three times. Like, I'm done with y'all. And I came back. Oh, that was it twice. Well, what does it matter? I'm done. I gave you chance after chance. The Lord gives you chance after chance. Don't worry about me. Worry about God. Put up a fight. 
we put up a fight we're gonna get where we're going and it says they will not accept it is over and i don't know what to do um i don't know who it is what is that reading forget that i'm so sorry go talk to god about it, it says reveal the holy spirit through me lord amen i have to put it down it's too heavy y'all it says don't challenge me please please don't challenge me i remember when i said that i said this i made this i remember when i made this um i had made it well no i didn't make it but I remember one time it came out from that one prophet. She was trying to trying to tell me, "Don't come in here judging." For one thing, I came because I was invited to your church. Don't come in. To, I come to your church and you treat me like that. As soon as you see me, don't come in here judging. I didn't even really even walk up to me and uh and uh, and, uh introduce yourself. I didn't even know you. <laughs> Thank you. You're not on my level. You're um insignificant. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. No, I don't want to come back to your church. If I do, you're going to be scared out of your mind. If I come, matter of fact, that's a long damn drive. I was like driving, I was like driving to, uh, oh, um, through uh, hell and back to get there. I'm so damn far out there. Trust your intuition. I trust my intuition that time when I came to your church. I knew that said something ain't right up in here. And it says, broken people looking for light looking for a new life royal people chosen people royal priesthood it is funny how all these years of my life i hid because i did not know but someone knows Uh uh-huh we got here every man's dream i don't know why i put that on there but it says that True and Teddy Pendergrass, when somebody loves you back, it feels good loving someone when somebody loves you back. And that's a fact. I miss being in the company of Bay. I know I wasn't around Bay that much, but I like Bay's company. I mean, Bay's so cool. It's just, I'm like, I just want to like get to know Bay better. Like, man, I know that this is going to be like some of the best conversations. This is going to be some of the best. I mean, this is going to be so like interesting this is gonna hold my attention i was talking to my son today he said he was thinking about doing something with children he that's what he took up in college to work with children he said he wanted to you know do something for the kids i said that's awesome i called my grandson up or text my grandson to check on my grandson and my grandson's gone out of town today to north carolina to visit with his um on vacation with his family i told you they're always doing something when he told me my face kind of dropped because that's the feeling i feel because I still have yet not to make it there so that I can do fun things with my grandson. I'm not ready yet. It kind of like, I'm happy that he reached out to my grandson. But if my grandson want to come and see me, I'm not in a better place than I was when I stopped talking to him. So I'm not ready yet. I can't, I can't I'm not trying to top what his mother and his family do on that side. But I want to at least have myself together so that when he does come around me, I'm able to buy whatever, you know, entertainment or food. We can have fun, talk. We just not sitting and I'm I'm like, I gotta take him and get a cheeseburger from McDonald's or something because that's all I can afford. I don't want that. I don't want that no more. I don't want to be the broke grandma. It says here, it is so good loving someone when somebody loves you back. Um yeah, that's what it says. I love Bay. God bless Bay. When someone has some selfish ways, it was selfish ways that's not good we don't want to be selfish being in cancer season are we cancer season yet i don't know are we still in gemini well happy birthday happy birthday happy belated birthday to all the people i got here you the goat raising kids paying bills and protecting your house amen you sure was you've done all that and it says fresh start with you amen god bless And I'm going to get off. No cracky, cracky, jokey, jokey today. I did yesterday, though. It says, um, we're passing tests over and over again. God is still pleased with us. Source, guide us, guide us, and continue to guide us. And we'll continue to follow in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What am I? I am the light. Amen. Let's see.
we're going to take this one out. This is rivalry. Um, yeah, rivalry or some kind of confusion or something like that. And it says, ancestors trying to send you caution signals, please. Don't keep sending me caution signals because I really don't have, I don't need another hit from any kind of anger, Lord Jesus. Please, my Heavenly Father, protect me from all angles. Put super protection around me. I don't need no more hits. I know they're probably mad at me because I don't want to deal with them no more. If y'all are evil little evil terrorists and doing little evil things in the dark, I'm like I said, I'll be sleeping so damn good. I don't worry about y'all. Um, but I know that y'all can do something real stupid. This is the devil, real stupid. Like, I don't know who that was knocking on my door earlier. I shook your hand, but I ain't shook your hand. You didn't ask to shake my hand. Now, maybe I shouldn't have, but I'm not going to be worried about that. I'm way more powerful than that. I'm way more powerful than that. Somebody was acting all sad, but really looking straight guilty. They're covering up their wrongdoing. And it says nobody is better than anyone in the eyesight of God. Nobody. Nobody. And that goes to those prophets, the so-called prophets, the so-called apostles, the so-called preachers, the so-called pastors, the so-called ministers, and so-called bishops. Y'all, yeah, majority of y'all ain't ish. I said it. I said it. Y'all don't even... God ain't even gave y'all the uh, permission to judge. But y'all do. It says public enemy, fight the power. We got to fight the power that be. I'm going to leave out with that one. That's a banger right there to leave out with. You see that? We're going to fight the power that be. God bless. One.